We begin the news tonight with some answers about that train traveling at 82 miles per hour. What happened when the train hit the curve, the cars derailed, and so many passengers were injured? There is new video tonight showing a closer look at the damage. The cars on their sides, the tracks mangled and destroyed, and giant cranes lifted the cars upright. The black boxes on board now offering more clues to this story. And ABC's Gio Benitez goes in search of the answers. Tonight, ABC News sources say human error is likely to blame for the train tragedy. Investigators on the ground looking through the eerie aftermath. Those tracks torn apart by a train traveling far faster than it's supposed to. The speed limit for trains in this area is 70 miles per hour, but once it reaches this curve, the speed limit drops down to 30. Tonight we know the train did not slow down. The train was traveling at approximately 82 miles per hour as it went into a 30 mile an hour curve. When I heard about the speed, I gulped. It sort of takes your breath away. The train left Poughkeepsie for New York's Grand Central Terminal at 5.54 a.m. Sunday, making several stops without incident. But at 7.20, as the train sped around the curve, all seven train cars derailed. Late this afternoon, the NTSB announcing the train's emergency brakes were fully activated just five seconds before it careened off the tracks nearly into the Harlem River. I thought I'm going to die. Passengers inside tossed around like rag dolls. By the time I looked up, it was completely going off its track and there was just like the rubble from under the tracks like flying like at my face. A photo obtained by ABC affiliate WVEC shows people inside one of the overturned cars. Four people were killed. James Ferrari heading off to work as a building supervisor. Ann Kasuk heading home from her night shift as a nurse. Donna Smith on her way to see her sister sing in a choral group. And James Lovell, a sound engineer from NBC, taking the early train to help stage the lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. He was just the best father I could ever ask for. The train's operator, William Rockefeller, seen here, is a longtime engineer with a clean disciplinary record. Officials are interviewing him tonight, hoping to build on what they've already learned. This is raw data off of the event recorders, so it tells us what happened, doesn't tell us why it happened. Investigators have also confiscated Rockefeller's cell phone to find out if he was texting or talking before that deadly crash. Diane. Thanks, Gia. But as you said, he was a seasoned engineer for about 11 years on the job.